It's time for freedom lovers around the world to stop living in denial. Chinese-style net censorship and beyond is now being openly and incrementally deployed across the planet. We have had Cass Sunstein, the White House regulation czar, come out and say they want to, quote, ban conspiracy theories, make you get a license to be able to have a website. The Italian government has already implemented this. The Australian government is implementing it and putting in total net filtering, banning websites like WikiLeaks. Major ISPs around the world have been banning Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, my sites. Uh, it's incredible. And the public isn't very savvy about the technical things that are involved here. For instance, several New Zealand publications reported, and I got hundreds of emails from people in Australia and New Zealand in the last week saying that most major ISPs were blocking getting to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Then I got emails saying, well, wait a minute, I'm in Australia or New Zealand, I can still get it. Yes, on your ISP, but some of the biggest were blocking us. And there are public statements put out by them that indeed we were blocked. But because of public outcry, we are now not blocked. The Australian government is saying they will just add to a list whoever they want, or if anyone ever complains about a site. No judge, no jury, no due process. Your site is banned. Domestic sites in Australia are banned. They're making people now register with the government to be able to have a site that criticizes politicians. This is in the news. This is happening. Two weeks ago, Bill Gates came out and said, I support China and their censorship. Now, China mainly uses web filtering. Even more abusive and draconian in the United States, uh, we have the head technology officer at Microsoft and others at Davos and UN meetings agreeing with the UN saying we want all Americans, all Brits and all Canadians to have to sign in with a net ID, preferably via a biometric. They're openly proposing that this now happen. On top of that, I happen to have the cybersecurity bill that passed the House of Representatives almost overwhelming. There were just a few votes against it, and it's moving on to the Senate. And I challenge people to go read this bill for yourself. It recruits high schoolers and college students to join Homeland Security. The Pentagon admits that they now are hiring tens of thousands of bloggers to counter disinformation on American blogs. They say they may target. Uh, there was an Air Force uh, a few months ago talking about killing American journalists in country. Even the smallest IT provider will have to put in the software and government snooping hubs where everything is recorded by the government, everything is controlled. These indexes of thousands of websites that are banned have to be installed at the local ISP level, even in small towns. Under these different blacklists, we are included, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, all over the country and all over Europe and, and many other areas of the world. We have been sent countless screenshots uh, of uh, Cox Communications, Time Warner, you name it, uh, ISPs in England. We've written articles and put links to their statements going back four years saying this is objectionable material. And uh, there's really four ways they flag. They say porn or they say hate. Uh, or they say gambling uh, or illegal activity. And they normally use hate for us. Now, even if you think what we're saying is hateful, shouldn't there be the free speech? Shouldn't you have the decision to go to Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com? The truth is we have some of the most banned sites worldwide because we are effective. We cover the real issues. And so it's not just universities and law enforcement centers uh, and public schools and corporations that are now banning us. We've got a list on PrisonPlanet.com in an article that Paul Watson wrote titled Frightening Taste of Internet Censorship as Major Free Speech Website Blocked. In Watson's article, we have links where major transportation hubs in the EU and in England that are supposedly free Internet, which taxpayer paid for, and Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com is blocked. So we have been put in these databases fraudulently to be blocked, and you shouldn't put up with it. You should complain. You should say no. 
you should call your ISP. Tell them you're going to move on to somebody else if they continue this. Because if we allow this incremental implementation of Chinese-style net censorship, obviously it's going to hurt our society. Every time they attempt to incrementally restrict the Internet and the free flow of information, we need to stand up and say no. And we need to stand up to Time Magazine and the New York Times and countless other mainstream publications that have all called in the last month for a net ID to be able to get online, who've called for Internet taxes, who've called for taxes and regulation on talk radio, because they can't just ignore the Internet. They can't fund COINTELPRO and Pentagon disinformation to have us all in fight with each other. They've done all that, and it's not working. So now they want to incrementally shut it down. They want to force things onto Internet 2, the safe Internet, as the UN and a Microsoft executive said. Then you'll have the old Internet, they claim. But if you really read Internet 2 consortium meeting minutes, they plan to force everybody over to the new Internet where you have a subdomain with a major carrier who can shut you down whenever they want. And then they're going to incrementally shut down the old web and use this cybersecurity legislation to restrict free speech. And in the words of the White House, in the words of Barack Obama, they have said a declaration of war against free speech that they may shut the web down to save it during some staged false flag cyber attack they launch. They have said uh, that the Pentagon is going to be in control of it. They're building the giant NSA slash Pentagon uh, fortresses all over the country and forcing all the major ISPs to wire into their grid. They've built a giant separate network outside of the original Internet that they're going to force everyone onto. This is happening. IT professionals everywhere are discussing it. CNET News is exposing it. Mother Jones, back in April of last year, almost a year ago, should Obama control the Internet? A new bill would give President emergency authority to halt web traffic and access private data. Time Magazine pushes draconian Internet licensing plan. Death of the Internet, censorship bills in UK, Australia, US aim to block undesirable websites. One of their main targets is WikiLeaks. It's being banned everywhere because it exposes government corruption. Obama information czar calls for banning free speech. And I've got his quotes here from the paper that Cass Sunstein wrote a year and a half ago. Quote, government might ban conspiracy theorizing. That's any criticism of government. That's anything outside their tiny orthodoxy. He lists saying that man-made global warming isn't real as a bannable offense. He lists saying that a little bit of sunlight is good for you as a conspiracy theory and should be banned. When all the major studies show it's good for you. He says government might impose some kind of new tax, financial or otherwise, on those who disseminate such theories. I mean, folks, this is what they're saying. This is really happening. Police want backdoor to web users' private data without warrants. CNET News under cybersecurity. This is all going on. We are being censored right now. Do you understand? It's happening. Italy, England, Canada, the U.S., Australia, New Zealand are all implementing this incrementally right now. Today it's the ISPs, but the ISPs are building in partnership with the government. It says private corporate partnerships where they hack up different sectors of the web and that they will be able to police and do whatever they want, recruiting giant youth squads to serve in homeland security facilities, countering disinformation, countering lies about the government. CENTCOM admits they're doing this. Stop living in denial. This is happening. What do we do about it? You call the Senate. You tell them, do not implement this draconian bill. The Senate version is even worse. Kill the Cybersecurity Act. Understand that our government's been caught staging false flag after false flag. They're constantly hyping how dangerous the Internet is because they can't allow it to continue to operate because it's exposing their fraud. They have the incentive to launch a fake cybersecurity attack, just like the Gulf of Tonkin or the Reichstag, as a pretext of control. Support the free Internet now while you still have it. Appreciate sites like WikiLeaks and InfoWars.com and the Electronic Frontiers Foundation and what it's doing. Support sites like Cryptome. All of these sites are under attack on record. Many of them are being raided by the FBI. They don't want the people standing up against what they're doing. And they are testing the people's resolve right now. They are pushing the borders of what they can get away with. They're sending up trial balloons. Now is the time to let them know we are not going to let more oppressive laws than even communist China 
has installed take place here in the United States and in Europe. Out of the gates, they're proposing more oppressive systems than what China even has. And that's mainstream news. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. If you think you're being raped by big government right now, they haven't even gotten started. We need to keep the Internet free. We're also going to be developing plans to create printable newspapers, DVD distribution, other systems to get around all of this. But in the end, we're up against classic tyranny, and it doesn't look good. So please spread this video. Please spread the articles we've written. Please make your own videos and analyze the attacks on the Internet. If we don't stand together, we're all going to hang separately. God bless you all.